So this is a modern orchestral flute. It's what you see whenever you go to, you know, New York Philharmonic or San Francisco Symphony. It's made out of metal and it has about 22, 25 different keys that you push down for every different note. If you think of a piano with all the white notes and black notes, all you do is do different fingerings and they all come out equally beautifully. This flute was invented around 1830, 1840. But before then, this is more what the flute looked like. It was made out of wood. Uh, it had only one key at the end, thus it's called a one key flute or a Baroque flute. And you cover six finger holes, very much like a recorder player. Uh, you blow it like a flute, but the reason I like it so much is, well, first of all, it's great touching wood. It's much more organic feeling. And you can feel your breath going through the flute as you play. Um, this flute was not built with, with equality in mind like the modern orchestral flute. An F is just as strong as an F sharp, which is just as strong as a G or a G sharp. On the Baroque flute, since I don't have keys, anything outside my home key of D major, I have to do these strange what are called cross fingerings to get out the chromatic notes. So let me play uh, a chromatic scale from the bottom and you'll hear some notes are strong and some notes are weak depending on how many fingers I'm pushing down. So there's kind of a built-in patchwork texture, if you will, on this flute. And that's why it's beautiful playing this music that the composers knew that a G sharp was a soft note. So they're not only writing it, you know, for the melody or the harmony, but they're writing it for the texture. And that's what you miss by playing it on the modern flute. You know, people say, well, if Bach had a modern flute, he would have used it. Yeah, of course he would have. You know, but Rem, you know, Rembrandt would have used spray paints if he had them, I guess. But you know, you have the colors and the palettes that the composers knew. And that's, this particular flute is a copy. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Uh, the original flute was made by an Italian flute maker called Carlo Palanca around 1745, 1750. Um, Though I make a nice living playing and teaching, I can't afford $200,000 flutes. <laughs> and most of the flutes that exist in museums aren't playable. Unlike violins that have been played continuously throughout the centuries, the flutes, the original flutes have been sitting in museums, and so they're cracked and they're not in very good condition. So makers, modern makers, go and do the measurements and they make what are called modern copies. This is a modern copy of the Polanco flute. It was made by a German maker, Martin Venner, about eight years ago. And it's a gorgeous flute. It, this is, particular flute is made out of dark wood. It's made out of granadilla. Uh, they also make flutes out of lighter wood, Turkish boxwood, which is a brighter sound in the high rockets, but I like the lowness and the richness of this. Originally, these pieces, which are called bushings, are purely ornamental. Uh, were done uh, with, unfortunately, ivory from elephants, but since they're endangered now, makers, it's just uh, fake ivory. So that's the major difference, that there are no keys and that all the different notes have sort of a different quality to them on the, on the Baroque flute. <laughs> 